Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, let's take a look at this 2016 Vauxhall Antara 2.2 CDTI Diamond. And this is going to be a full, in-depth tour of the Antara. We'll start it up, show the engine, as well as show a few of the features on the interior, as well as exterior. And before I begin, I'd like to give a big thanks to the Llandudno Junction Car Centre, located in Llandudno Junction, North Wales, for allowing me to come out and film this car. For more information regarding current inventory and contact info, please check out their link in the description below. And so... Without further ado, let's get it started up and let it run. It's a white exterior. With black leather interior. Fars right up. Has just over 31,000 miles on the clock. Leather app steering wheel. With silver accenting. Has a six speed manual transmission. And we'll go ahead and turn on the headlamps, front and rear fog lamps, and the hazards. All four windows are automatic. And we'll go and check out the exterior, shall we? Seventeen inch wheels,
has a 2.2 litre turbo diesel engine, four cylinder, puts out 160 brake horsepower, does 0 to 60 in 9.6 seconds and has a top speed of 117 miles an hour. Power windows, power mirrors, power locks. Fully powered driver's seat with side airbags. And we'll go ahead and hear she sounds. Does sound pretty good. Mind you, that sounds a lot nicer. Not bad at all. Simple to use AC controls. Fan speed. Temperature, different zones, AC on and off, recycling, and rear defrost. Different preset stations. Decent sounding audio system. And that's really the future. It's this hybrid, hybrid way of living, hybrid way of working, and very much a hybrid way of shopping. In general, these Zoom consultations shop assistants. Are they one-to-one -one, or is it a kind of group explaining and selling? Yeah, I mean that's what's really interesting. It is one-to-one -one, and it it ties in with this broader trend that we've seen within the industry in recent years and, and one of the trends that has very much been accelerated by the pandemic and that is the democratization of white glove service so five years ago if you wanted a personal shopper for example um, you had to go to harrods or harvey nicks um, sound settings you could walk into a fast fashion chain like h&m and, and book a slot for a personal styling session so there has been this kind of broader shift towards um, concierge level service Phone. that is very much no longer confined to luxury 
And I think that's because there's this real drive in the industry to offer a more convenient and personalized experience, um, both in store and online. Uh, so there's a lot of interesting things happening, and I think and settings the not too distant future. It, it's only going to get better for shoppers. Very basic unit. I think when we walk into pretty a simple store, to use. Some things that kind of wow us now as shoppers will become basic hygiene like being able to skip the checkout for example or having a store associate hill descent control traction control and eco mode and, and there's a lot happening on the delivery side as well that's that's really surprising us and in, in his quick traffic announcements more, so 10 to 15 minute delivery of groceries cd player um, which is just mind-blowing <laughs> so just um, to go back to these these zoom consultations mm -hmm. what you're saying is the, the how it works is you book it in the shop some people will be heated seats when they threw apple i mean that felt wonderful when it was first introduced but gradually as more and more people understood that you could book it it became less easy to book didn't it you, usb and auxiliary inputs money, they'll be able to afford to spend on shop assistance and power outlets one to one yeah you're absolutely right but i think we have to bear in mind that um automation the rise of automation in the industry is really freeing up um, staff time to focus on those more customer facing tasks and I think when we think about the broader direction of travel within this industry uh, you know technology has changed the game it's, it's the activation of your interior alarm bring the physical store into the 21st century um, but it will never replace the human touch and so I think here's a great example of where retailers can better allocate their resources and offer that one-to-one -one advice and service Audio controls. Will it be as good though as being in a shop where somebody, because that has also receded, hasn't it? In in the real world, finding someone in a shop who understood the merchandise and could explain to you how it works, that has receded in the real world. Pretty amazing vehicle. Replaced with these zoomy things. I think, yeah, I think in some ways. Let's go ahead and shut her down. Um, going back to the future, if you will. Let's go and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we?
Well everyone, hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour of this 2016 Vauxhall Antara. Thanks so much for watching and peace out.